Hi guys, this is our instructor Asma Mushtaq and in today's lecture I am just going to explain uh, how to decide uh, either the diode in the given circuitry is forward biased or the reverse biased. Okay, so diode is an electronic device as we all know which allows the current to flow in only one direction means current can flow only from anode to cathode where anode is actually the positive terminal and cathode is actually the negative terminal of it so whenever we want the current to flow in a circuitry we will always make sure the anode is at the higher potential as compared to the cathode okay if there is more potential at the anode terminal as compared to the cathode terminal then the current can flow through the diode this is the simple rule of the conduction of the diode so let's consider a simple case where we have connected the diode like that in a circuitry and you can see the anode terminal of it is grounded while the cathode terminal of the diode is actually connected with the plus 5 volt supply through a resistor R. Now we have to decide either it will conduct or not. Clearly we know that the anode terminal is actually connected to the ground which means it is at the 0 volt potential while the cathode is almost at the 5 volt potential via resistor R. Fine. So, if you find the potential from a node to cathode, then you can see that 0 minus 5 volt is actually equal to minus 5 volt, which means a node to cathode potential is actually negative. So, that's why there will be no conduction through this con uh, cathode in this circuitry. Now let's consider an other case where we can see that the anode is actually connected at the potential of plus 5 volt uh, 10 volt, volt voltage source through a resistor R and the cathode terminal is at plus 5 volt potential. Now if you calculate the potential from a node to cathode it will come out to be 10 volt minus then 5 volts which means you will have 5 volts that are actually positive. Since a node to cathode potential is high that's why we will say that this diode is forward biased and it will cause the conduction. Now, let's consider an other scenario where we have connected a negative voltage source at both terminals of the diode and we want to decide either it will conduct or not. So, let's see. We have connected minus 5 volt at the anode terminal while the cathode is connected to minus 12 volt. And again if you will calculate anode to cathode potential you will get to know it will be equal to minus 5 volt then minus minus 12 volt. So it's quite easy to decide if you are capable enough to determine the voltages from anode to cathode. By simplifying you can see that it will come out to be plus 7 volt which is actually a positive voltage potential is exi exi exiting, existing from anode to cathode. That's why here the diode will cause the conduction. Similarly no conduction will take place in this case and again the diode in this circuitry will conduct. In the next part, I will explain what are the diode switching circuits. Thank you for watching.